Hello everyone, Vasive here, welcome to some stinking quarantine. We're excited to be playing. As you can tell, we don't have many of the players right now because people are sick and other responsibilities and stuff like that, which is fine. Um, but we do have a beautiful face that we haven't seen in a while, which technically we don't see the face. But that is our good friend, Joshy Boy. He's uh, here for a, a temporary time. He, he had some time, so it's good to see him. Also, um, you guys should be unmuted. I hope you guys are unmuted. Okay. I mean, I don't think you can touch Mike and I, I heard it from button. Oh, I can mute you. The man is want. crying. So I'm going to. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah was. It's all good. It's all good. Um, but yeah, so uh, it's just going to be uh, Eva, Lushu and Amakus. I hope I said your character's name right uh, tonight, which we will be meeting. Um, do you either, I guess there's only two of you that know what happened last time. Uh, do either of you want to recap? I guess Lushu's kind of stuck with baby. <laughs> um, I guess I could do it. Let's see. Uh, if, correct me if I'm wrong, because uh, it's been a few weeks. Anyways, let's see. Last uh, time we played, you guys were entering into Bastion Bay, and then uh, a giant shark was attacking a merchant ship that was coming into port. Um, and you guys, well, I guess you guys were on the same boat. You guys commandeered a, uh, a little merchant schooner, uh, to go and try to assist the, uh, the boat that was under attack and to pull some of the passengers off. Uh, that's where the new characters were getting in, er, involved in as well. Um, but the team never officially, uh, regrouped, uh, player knowledge, obviously, uh, has never regrouped yet. Um, and we left off literally like as I think uh, people were getting dragged back to shore. Uh, so I think that's where we're going to end up picking up. Um, let's see. You guys, um, I guess Eva and Lushu, you guys were on the little schooner and you were trying to uh, assist. And I don't remember, I don't think you guys actually, I, wait, you pulled on, I think the captain. Um, that was captured at the Tia's run. And, uh, you guys were all managed to, uh, pull everyone onto, uh, well, aside the, from the person that got eaten, uh, <laughs> pull people onto, uh, shore and tensions are dying down, uh, trying to figure out what the heck just happened. Um, most of you got away unscathed. I think, uh, Miss Creation's character, uh, took, a uh, demon took... A little bit of damage. It actually, so did Lyra. Lyra took some significant damage from the underwater. Fucking bug! Don't go in the... Sorry. Stupid bug, bug tried to fly into one of the outlets, and that's always a pain in the ass. Um, sounds like a bad time. Yeah, do you, have you ever tried to <laughs> plug in an, a thing to an outlet when there's a bug inside of it? It explodes and pops and Can't sparks. Can't say that I have. It's but awful. I've had one of those, like, the, <laughs> the electric fly swatters. Have you ever had one of those? Yeah, the, where they pop? <laughs> It's like that, but yeah. inside a light socket. Oh, no. And it just keeps cooking them. So, like, yeah, if you that, ever electric fly cool. swatter someone and you just keep it on them, it's a when it cooks them, that's what happens. That that probably doesn't smell very good either. <laughs> no, it's it's horrible. <laughs> um, but let's see. Um, where did... Uh, where is my map? You guys heard... You rescued the people. You're coming on shore. I'm um, trying to work out the best you can. Um, we're going to have to figure out how the rest of you guys meet up with the other party members at some point. But um, essentially, after everything seems to have uh, died down, um, I believe you guys didn't kill him or kill the shark. Um, they kind of fled because there was a lot of boats showing up. Um, but I think I, um, we'll, we'll just recap from last time. As swift as the creature appeared, it is gone. It's shadowy form slipping beneath the waves and disappearing away. You hope. Uh, your lifeboat pushes towards the docks, propelled by those of the, those on the oars, and you see the other boats rushing out to meet you. Uh, it is, <laughs> is it too late for Tifa's run? How, or it is too late for Tifa's, Tifa. Oh my God. You got it on the brain. <laughs> Listen, 
She's always on the brain. She never You're leaves. Valid. You're completely valid. understandable. <laughs> <laughs> he has run. Nice <laughs> However, and you look back and watch as the top of her mast is slowly swallowed by the waves. So, uh, T has run, did not make it. Took too much damage and has sank. Um, and then beyond that, um, you guys have a uh, come up on board. On board, we'll say, um, Damascus was, uh, on the far side of town, and uh, the the commotion kind of trickles through town, you know, as people are scrambling, and uh, Damascus arrives at the uh, the shoreline uh, as you know boats are pulling in. You, you can wade out waist deep to help pull some of the the rowboats in. There's lots of shouting, lots of uh, <laughs> shouting orders, and you know pirate lingo getting yelled at at each other, um, pulling any injured members into a uh, you know, safe zones as fast as quickly as possible. Um, but that's it, that's where things stand right now. Well, uh, the little schooner that Lucio and Eva were commandeering are it has been pulled up to port, and uh, you guys <laughs> successfully managed to uh, bullshit your way through sailing that <laughs> little ship. <laughs> <laughs> can, if Lucio has trouble, can I just stay a crocodile and push it along? Oh yeah, you're now? a croc. <laughs> I'll just be like, yo, you need a hand. <laughs> just, just here you go. <laughs> just, just a floating log pushing this, <laughs> this schooner. Sure, <laughs> sure. Yeah, you can. It's not that big, so sure, you you can be helping along, just swishing the the croc tail around. He might be charismatic, but he don't know what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like the, the fact that that worked was funny. Um, so yeah, yeah, you can help <laughs> push it up. Um, you're approaching land though, and other people might see a crocodile. They they just experienced a giant, massive shark attack, so they might be worried that there's a crocodile up next to a boat too. So just forewarning. <laughs> yeah, but uh, you you guys are approaching land. Uh, you can. I, I guess at this point, this is this is all you guys. Um, how how you proceed here. I'm gonna pop out of wild shape right before we get up on shore and then just be like, okay, a little damp now, but that's fine. Probably wise. <laughs> um can we can we see anything like from the boat, like on the shore or anything? Anything that really, really stands out. Like anything out of place, anything that, you know, could cause any sort of harm or anything like that? You mean like maybe a bunch of guards or something like anything like that? Something we may need to be wary about when we dock. Uh, like wary as in because you stole that boat. Yeah, like that's what I mean. Like, is there like guards there? There's there guards. Yeah, of... I mean, this is this is a guarded town and stuff, but I don't think anyone guards? cares that oh, okay, cool. you commandeered a boat to go try to help people. Um, oh, okay, no worries. I mean, maybe the, if the owner found you, he might get angry, but that'll. That can come in with a, a term, some rolls and stuff if if we get there. But at this point in time, you guys are just like screw. Unsheath my daggers. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're we're coming up to port here. My boat. And with all the chaos and stuff that's happening, maybe the the owner will be like, "I didn't park my boat here. What the hell?" But I don't know. Um, but there are guards, and there there there's just a bunch of commotion. You know, <laughs> just pulling every boat, everyone out of the water, and trying to get to safe harbors. Or. Sure, I guess. Okay, well, I suppose we just make our way to shore then. Oh, you guys are on shore. You're, you guys, the oh, boat has shore. literally docked. You can oh, okay. hop off and be on land. Excuse me. I'm trying to think. So, where were we meant to go after this? What quest were we doing? Well, you originally come in here uh, because, uh, oh crap, man! Like, don't you still need help with that injury or something? Yeah, that was part of it. Um, <laughs> but you guys, oh, yeah, I'm, but I'm, Lucio I'm, killed I'm the guy that was supposed to help him. <laughs> ah, yeah. So uh, that, yeah. that that that's the thing. And the other thing was, um, this is the port town that can is the quickest way to get you back to uh, not Eldaria. That's the uh, the main city. Was it Aldaria? Dude, I need to make uh, better notes. I lost my notebook when I moved stuff. Uh, the place where Eldred's at. What was that called? 
I don't remember. Uh, but it might be in our notes somewhere. That could be a thing we could look at. Notes. Um, ba -do -ba -do -ba -do -ba -do. Princess in the Mage Tower. Sally Cat Girl. <laughs> Samson Barbarian. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, no. Are you making stuff up? Who's Samson the Barbarian Grizz Naughty Man Higher Up Cereal? <laughs> what? <laughs> One of your notes. Samson Barbarian Grizz Naughty Man Higher Up. <laughs> I, I make really bad notes. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> what on earth? Boy, I've missed some interesting things. Yeah, I was gonna yeah, say I that. Too, uh, <laughs> this is your fanfic, is it? <laughs> yeah. What the heck? Oh, shut up! Um, Why go expose man like that? <laughs> I'm exposing nothing. You've exposed. No, I think I think that was at the very beginning because there was okay. um something to do with Grizz. There was a character called Grizz. Who was Grizz? I'm sure I wrote that note somewhere as well. Or maybe it was. Oh, Grizz Echo. was um. Yeah, the guy that was part of the Medusa quest. Man, that was forever yeah. ago. Oh, I think it was saying that Samsung was a higher up of Grizz, the naughty man, <laughs> or something <laughs> like that. I don't know. <laughs> Raska. Oh no. Oh, Raska. Th okay. There yeah. it is. Oh, okay, that, that brings it back. Oh, yeah. Echo, your diary oh. comes to save the day. Coming back from the grave. Looking at her, yeah. Thank you for taking. All right, Miss Creation's getting an inspiration point for her awesome diary I taking. Her, no. her, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that was the idea. Is like you were coming here to. Uh, it's the quickest way to get back to Raska. Otherwise, it would take you many weeks to travel there by foot. Okay. Um, and also, yeah, the the the, the eccentric wizard guy told you that you could get your. Uh, you should probably get your wound checked out. But you murdered the boy. You, mur you murdered him for mutton. That's um, what he deserved. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's where you guys stand. You're you're sitting here in Bastion she Bay. Has really filled this in. <laughs> yeah, dude, Reading it's it it's impressive. Jesus yeah. Christ. Uh huh. Hey, someone's got to do it. <laughs> mm -hmm. If I had more room on She's my desk, notes. I'd be taking handwritten notes. But here we are. Jesus yeah, I lost Christ. my handwritten notes. I have some sticky notes here to remind me of things, but not some stuff that long ago. Um, All right, well, I should probably go see someone about my injury real quick. Yeah. So I second yeah, that notion. You're, so you're going to... Enthusiastically, in fact. Yes. <laughs> so you're going to ask around uh, to find out where there could be some sort of a healer or something? Yes. yes. Um, you're, you're able to, you know, pull, pull a couple ears uh, from... To get some attention, um, it's a little bit hard because of the chaos that's going on. But you are able to uh, discern that there is uh, there's two temples uh, in the area that you might be able to uh, receive, you know, some aid. Uh, there's a there's a temple of Lathander, and uh, there's a temple of Umberly uh, that is here. Um, there's also you know various inns. Um, that you could probably find some bandages. Uh, in terms of healers, you might be able to find some sort of uh, an herbalist. There, this this is a a main port town where a lot of merchants and stuff gather. So you could probably even go find um, some shops and stuff that could just sell um, remedies or you know healing people practitioners themselves. I probably should go look for one of those. Yes, you're gonna yes. get head to the shops area. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm going to try and find uh, a herbalist, yes, to help me out. Okay. Um, so you ask around uh, where the uh, the shop area would be, um, and from what you would deduce, it's about the same area that where you guys took up some lodging um, the first night here. Um, it's on the same strip anyway. Um, so you start to head that way. Um, as you do, um, a person in some cloaks um, comes up and... Uh, Josh, I'm just going to give you a head up just so you're not thrown for a loop. <laughs> but uh, your character comes up and uh, you are... You, you sense some sort of uh, issue with uh, the injury on Lushu. So, I don't know if you want to introduce yourself. I kind of just threw you at your... Uh... <clears throat> um, 
So yeah, uh, I basically I'm like a mahogany colored tiefling. Mm -hmm. I look like I'm like fresh out of like I'm a young guy. I'm like 19. It looks like I've never had a razor blade in my life. Um, what's a razor blade? <laughs> what's, what's that? It's a, it's a mythical thing that I'm, I'm hearing. It's it's like a pocket knife, you know? Like it's oh, so it. splotchy, it. my like scruff. Um, and I've got a quarter staff on my back. I look like I'm in tatters. I have a sickle on my side. I got a book in one hand, and I have like this doll in the other and it looks like it's got like half skin on it and then like torn you um <clears throat> so yeah i'm gonna uh, approach luke Sue and be like there's something wrong uh is it disease uh, and i'm gonna get a bit closer okay uh, Lucy's going to reply by saying, "I I have no idea. It just it hurts. It hurts a lot." <laughs> this is all you guys. It was the it was the what was it the damage? It was the boar, right? Yeah, the 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 boarman. The boarman, yes. So I'll explain that I I got I got attacked by a boar, and uh, as you can see, he's kind of gouged me slightly. And kind of remove my hand to show the wound. Like, in its all glory. And this was, uh... <clears throat> like, a week prior, and it's still kind of... It, it hasn't, like, uh, caused any issues, but it doesn't seem to have healed at all. It's kind of... It, it's not festering, per se, but it's not actively being healed for some reason. But in it, it's yeah, yeah, obviously still painful. You haven't needed to cut it off yet? Where, where's the injury? Yours? I thought I, I thought I thought it was the torso. Yeah, it's up to you. I, was, I thought it was like if I if I stand oh. up, I thought it was like here, sure, sort of area on the side. Because if I was being charged at tusks and that sort of stuff, it'd probably be like towards a general sort of area. So no, I have not tried to cut my belly off. <laughs> <laughs> well, around here we got to make do with what we got. <laughs> Belly roast for dinner, boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not like that. <laughs> so, what do you what do you recommend? Well, I recommend you get that fixed fast. <laughs> she just looks at my and says, "No shit." <laughs> <laughs> he, he tries to laugh, but because of the laughter is going in his stomach, he grabs himself again, <laughs> realizing that this is probably not the time to make jokes. Um, he's going to ask if um, Amascus knows anyone um, that can help me quite urgently. I'm assuming I would know a bunch of places because I live here. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> yep. Well, um, you, you know, you, you can just go ahead and RP this and we can just play it out. Um, feel free to mention stuff. I can, you know, interject if we need, but I trust you. Well, I'm always a person that I take from the earth, so maybe seeing an herbalist would help. Um, if you need some emotional support, I'm gonna <laughs> offer up my doll and be like, you can always hug this whenever you feel like you're in pain. It's always helped me in my night. She, she's gonna, gonna look a bit like, hmm, look around, and just slowly hind his hand out to grab the doll. Because he is in a lot of pain right now. It's like, I, 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 I shall hug your doll. Yes. Um, and whenever I take it, I'm gonna ask, um, do you recommend any herbalists? Is there anyone that you trust? Um, face of, I don't know if you. Yeah, I'm trying still to still have. Yeah, I'm trying to find a, my notes. Um. So. You, oh boy. We have I have notes here. Okay. Um. So you, you you pick or you you take this doll. I was trying to find a picture, um, for the ugly of the doll, the better. Yeah. Like yeah yeah. You sure about that? <clears throat> yep. Okay, because I'm gonna send yep. you a picture. <laughs> Go ahead. And uh, let's have a look. Oh, this is a pain in the ass. I'm just gonna send you guys a link because 
I don't think I can. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I can save it. I can save it. Oh, here we go. Doll. And then I'm going to import it. Assets. Refresh. Doll. Oops. Doll. There you go. That's not it. It didn't save properly. Folder. Oh, it's because it went to the wrong stinking folder. It's fine. This guy. No, don't open it. Images. No, this is not where opening where I want it to go. Fine, I have to save it in a special spot because it won't let me save it where I want to save it. This is important. You guys have to know what this thing looks like. There, that should be it. Refresh. <laughs> Doll. <clears throat> Yay! Okay, so this is uh, the doll that he hands you. Did you guys get that? Where is... Um, I dragged it onto your face. Did it not work? No. Hmm, okay. Hold on. I have to add it. Create... Oh, create image record. Duh. Fine. Here you go. Now... <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. That's awesome. Oh my god. <laughs> Half of the... So, uh... Wait, where do you see this? Where, where do you... Oh, yeah, I, I, uh... I just dragged onto him. Oh, yes, I was yeah. expecting worse. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, that's the... That's I don't the... like that. <laughs> <laughs> I love Maury's like, no, nah, I don't want it. So, uh... <laughs> as you, uh... Um, you 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 hug this monstrosity before you. Oh my gosh! Uh, you so you give this doll a hug, right? Yes. All right. Uh, it, it, as you you squeeze it, it kind of says, "You're never alone with me." Oh Lord. <laughs> um. No thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you shoot. Loose loose shoe hugs tighter. <laughs> Uh, it just You're never alone with me. <laughs> I like that and say thank you, creepy doll. Yeah. <laughs> um I'm gonna ask I'm gonna ask uh is it Amicus? Am I saying that right? Uh, sure. Oh, Amicus, whatever. Um Amicus, is is, is, is this normal? Oh does, does it yeah. usually do this? Yeah, it talks to me all the time. <laughs> like, what does it say? It slowly starts putting you the know, dolls. I, I go for a nap, and it changes what it says. <laughs> is it is it pleasant? Yeah, I I've grown up all alone with it, and I'm still here today. <laughs> I just keep looking at the doll. And I, love I just feel it. like you're worrying about this. Well, we we should be going to the herbalist. It's just you know, like a few streets over. Lucy will yeah, he'll snap out and say, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. We should probably get moving. So I'm going to follow uh, Amicus to um, wherever the hell he's taking me. It could be a herb, this could be a trap, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, very I don't trusting. Know character. I'm, yeah, I'm in a lot of pain, he's going to trust him. <laughs> he's just got a creepy talking doll, yeah, trust no him, choice. trust him straight up. No other choice, no other choice, dude. <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> uh, how, how's Eva responding to all this? I'm going to follow in case it's a trap. Okay. And if it is, I'm gonna save the masses. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm not okay with that doll. Just keep it away from me, and it's all fine. <laughs> it's all fine. Okay, you guys uh start heading towards uh the the mercantile area, um, and like it's kind of you know it's showing the various uh, herbs and stuff around the area. There's also um some people that are a little more experienced with the herbs and probably could provide some remedies uh, as you're kind of looking around you uh uh a, 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 an a older dog uh kind of kind of catches your eye um and uh an older uh a mi middle-aged farmer ish gentleman kind of in uh some uh leathers he looks more of a hunter type uh he's he set up a a rackety old uh I, 
I wouldn't even call it a shack or a, or a shop, but it, it it's a makeshift shop. You know, very basic. It's got like uh, wooden posts and a sign just saying like meats. Um, nothing too fancy. Like, 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 it's just like a street vendor shop. Yeah, like, yeah. Pack up and go but, at any time, sort of thing. Yeah, but it looks more uh like this is not what they normally do. Uh, like the other street vendors, they they have established areas they they can put up. They're obviously merchants. Um, but this one mm -hmm. looks like it's more of a hastily done, um, and this person doesn't obviously do this often. Um, but this uh, this older dog kind of, you know, is slow and kind of his walk up has has a little bit of a limp. Can um, I pet the dog? Um, you so you reach out to try to pet the dog. I I, I want to pet the dog. Eh? Whenever there's a dog in a game, you pet the dog. <laughs> yeah, can you pet the dog? Right. <laughs> We'll add that to the list. Say, yeah, add that to the in for this. Yeah, add that to the <laughs> yeah, internet's yeah. list in quarantine in Bastion Bay. <laughs> can you pet the dog? Yes. Uh, yes. So, so you reach out. Um, the dog kind of sniffs it around your hand a bit, and then just kind of just you know sticks out its head a little bit. So you, no, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give it three little pats on the head and a little head rub. Okay. Hell yeah. Um, <laughs> the the it's you assume the owner is you know he's trying to put up the shack. He's got like a, a simple mallet and he's hammering some nails into the thing. And he, I, I didn't want to do a loud whistle into the mic. That would be a bad idea. But uh, come here, darling. Darling, where are you? <laughs> yes. You, you walk over. Is that yeah. what you, <laughs> you called? Oh, gotcha. <laughs> well, you're, you're like 15 feet away. You might have to I'm shout that. You know, he's banging on stuff. There's a, there's a bunch of people in town, but uh, he, he seems to have noticed and he, he kind of turns around uh, and kind of gives you like a... <clears throat> and, uh, Come on, girl. And he, you know, pats his thing and she kind of starts... She, she tries to trot her way over, but she's kind of trot, trot limp, trot limp, trot limp, you know? Hmm. Um. Okay, bear with me. Um. See what I've got here. Do, 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 do. Ah, I haven't really got anything. I was going to see if I could offer him anything to help his dog's leg, and hopefully he'll be able to help me in return, but I don't really have anything that can help uh no i don't um okay then um is this the the herbalist that i was being brought to no you haven't um made it there you got distracted by the doggy i go oh of course of course as is tradition um i i'm gonna ask the um the i'm gonna call him a vendor i'm gonna ask the vendor um what he's currently doing what's he building he's Pop, 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 pop. He's building up sign. He's like, he's like, looks over his shoulder. Like, My name's Jacob. I'm currently uh, in a bad sort here, trying to uh, sell some pelts and some meats I got here. As you can tell, my uh, my old girl here has taken a little bit of an injury herself, and I or took a little bit of an injury, and uh, trying to raise. Some uh, funds to see if we can find a healer. Right. Funny you mention that because <laughs> in my inventory I actually have a fox pelt. Um. So <clears throat> because because we love we love doggos, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the fox pelt out of my inventory and offer to give it to him for nothing to help raise funds. Um. And I'm also going to. Offer him. Let me see how much I got. I got plenty. Um, I'm going to ask him if he knows of anywhere where um, he could get it fixed right now if he had the money, not just the equipment. Okay. Uh, before you do that, where did you get that fox pelt? Um, I'm pretty sure we skinned it. I'm pretty sure it's been in my inventory for a while. It's not the ones that, that you you stole from that one hut. That you found on the way. Did I steal it? It is Lucio. He might have stole it. <laughs> to be honest. 
I know I've had it for a while though, because it's high up in my inventory list mm -hmm. compared to all the other stuff that I've recently added. Um, I mean, it's above my uh, my hunting traps, my health potions, my oil flasks, my ring of jumping. So it was I had it before the ring of jumping, um, which is quite a while. But I'll offer it anyway. But okay. I'll, I'll do ask him if there's um, anywhere that he can get immediate sort of help for his his puppo. um so uh he, he, uh he, he kind of waves off he's like oh, i appreciate it friend as you can see uh i have plenty of skins to go around um he's a, he's a he's a hunter um he says uh it's nice to meet some kindness out here uh generally it's just me me and old darlin we just have a, we have a shack out uh, far outside of town. Uh, we just keep to ourselves, and for about 20 years, she's been with me. And uh, we, we had a rough run of it. Okay. We've had a... We have, have had a rough run uh, about a week ago. Uh, we got we got ambushed by some, uh, some boars. And uh, Darling took a little bit of a hit and uh, she she's recovering, but the the old girl she's getting she's getting old, and she, her legs and her body's not ain't what it used to be. So we uh we've coming into town, making a rare appearance here, and uh, living off the land. One doesn't need money, so then uh, scrapping together as much games as I can to make a little bit of profit to see if we can get old darling here fixed up. It's out right, I just outside my skin. In uh, what? In Discord. Oh, okay. I don't know how to do private DM in Fantasy uh, Grounds. So, so slash, that's the sort of thing I want to do. Slash that. W in Fantasy Grounds. Mm -hmm. And then if you just do GM, it'll come to me. Otherwise, ah, do the player okay. name. Awesome, awesome. So yeah, I'm going to ask if he has uh, any pelts um, that... Hang on one second. Ugh. Uh, I'm actually I'm going to offer to buy um, some pelts. I was wondering what kind he has. Does he have wolf? Does he have boar? Does he have fox? Does he have rabbit? Like, what kind of? He's got pelts? a very selection. Uh, there's you know deer, elk, wolf. Um, he's got one big bear one. Uh, he's got you know fox, rabbit. Uh, pretty much in a, a normal kind of woodland setting, uh, he might have a pelt for. Okay. Um... Because I think it would be pretty cool. Um, I'm going to ask if I could purchase the bear pelt. The bear pelt? The bear pelt, yeah. And two... F uh, well, I've already got one fox pelt, technically. <laughs> um, so I'll buy one more fox pelt as well. So two, I'll have two fox pelts and one bear pelt for I wish to attach them to my armor and look badass. <laughs> okay. Uh, the bear pelt, um, obviously, it's, it's a large pelt and requires a lot mm -hmm. of skill to do. So the bear, bear pelt will probably run you 80 silver. Um, the fox pelt, probably three. So, 83 okay. total. Um, yep, 83 total, no problem. He's happy to oblige. Um, as you, as you know, you're browsing his wares, uh, you are able there to notice are. that uh, the, the, uh, the meat selection and the cuts, as well as some of the, the pelts, seem oddly familiar. <clears throat> um, I'm going to ask him where, where he got these pelts from. I I told you, he's a uh, me and Darlin do hunting outside of town in our little shack, and uh, I skin him, and uh, what what's it called? Butcher him, skin him, and butcher him myself. Okay, and what is it that seems familiar about them? By the way, just out of character. Um, the, the well, the expertise um coming. Uh, from the cuts as well as it looks like um, the the cutting. Oh, the workmanship looks. I thought it was the yeah. pelts and yeah. stuff. So I thought it was like the same area we were. For, oh, so the workmanship of okay. uh, on, of the pelts and the meat and the cuts and stuff. Um, they all seem to. Um, uh, you 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 know, handy with blades. Uh, able to mm. notice that it's like, hey, the the cuts seem to have been done with the same blade. Uh, that you saw in a couple days prior in that shack that you guys found. Oh no. 
Oh no. <laughs> well, it was nice meeting you, buddy. Have a good rest of the day. Thank you. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I need to go find a herbalist real quick. For, for my, my side is in is, is tender. Oh, Lushu. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I think I, I, we need to talk I, about I, it. I, I paid him. I, 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 no, you didn't. Oh, no. no, you didn't. I, I, I paid him for no, notes. No, 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 for, no. for the ones here, yes, you did. Yeah, 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 that's what I meant. Yeah. Not from the stuff that you stole oh, from no. his house. Yeah. Okay, what, what I'm going to do then? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Is um as 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 I'm as I'm walking away, um I'm gonna I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna take um a, a single gold piece out of my pocket and flick it towards him. So it kinda of try and make it land on the table and say, um make sure your dog gets some good food tonight. <laughs> and and yourself and, and continue to walk. So I'll remove that. <laughs> as uh as the, the gold piece lands he <clears throat> He's kind of taken aback. He's obviously uh, been avoiding uh, any sort of, you know, human or what would you call it? Not just human, but uh, sentient inter interaction for a while. He's been living in the woods um, for unknown reasons to you. Um, but you kind of see his eyes kind of well up um, for the kindness that is shown because this dog, his dog is obviously important to him. And he, he reaches over and. He grabs the gold piece and he kind of stares at it. Then he looks back up at you and, you know, lump stuck in his throat. Thank you. Thank you, stranger. And uh, he bends over and uh, starts speaking to his, his dog. He's like, that's a good girl, darling. And he, you know, gives her rubs on the ears and she, you know, gives him kisses on the face. It's like, we're going to be all right, girl. We're going to be all right. We're, we're going to get you healed. And uh, you got, is that when you guys just walk away? We have to help. We can't let this poor dog go. <laughs> you understand nothing, Amicus. <laughs> we must. Like, we, we can come back a bit later. Let him finish. Let him finish setting up his stool. And I'm sure what, what we could do to help him out is at least spread word of his wares as we make our way to the herbologist. Maybe we can get in some customers. Because as you heard, he doesn't want to take charity. Is there a way that I would be able to figure out what exactly is wrong? Like if it's like, because if it's just a limp, then it's, I assume it's like something torn or a sprain or something like that, right? Uh, you could base, yeah, th th that tracks. You could uh, do like a, a nature or an animal handling. Yeah, I want to see if I can figure out. I'll be, like, really gentle. Because um, Eva still doesn't talk much to strangers, so she kind of just, like, steps up and, like, gets down, like, not not quite, like, kneeling, but kind of, like, crouches down and just looks up at him and c goes, Can I take a look? Yeah. He notices that you have, uh, you know, some nature stuff about you. Uh and having lived in the woods himself, he, he kind of gets the little standoffish nature that you have about you know, people, um, but you seem to be comfortable with animals, and he kind of looks over as Darlin, and uh, she, she's just kind of slowly wagging her tail. Um, so he's like, he kind of nods at you. Let's see if we can't figure this out. Nope. <laughs> Not figuring that well. Maybe. I don't know. Um... So, like, you, you reach up and you try to, you grab onto one of her paws, uh, the one that seems to be limping, and you kind of try to move it around, and she kind of, she pulls back. Um, it seems that she, she's obviously um, nursing that side of her uh, injury. Um, you aren't able to determine uh, beyond what the, the hunter had told you, uh, the injury that's causing it, um, just from doing that. Your best guess is that maybe it's a torn uh, muscle. Uh, maybe she just has a tight muscle, but you're you're unable to tell. Uh, you're gonna have to probably go see someone with a little more uh, knowledge or detail. Has anyone out of out of um like to GM knowledge? Has he like gone to someone and gotten word and been told like, yeah, this is what it's gonna be to like do a more thorough investigation, and he just can't afford it? Like, is that why he's like not been able to do anything with it yet, or? Not yet. Um, so, um, 
from what you were able to gather from what he was saying is uh this happened a few weeks ago and um th they're here because his skill in you know mending and uh medicine and stuff doesn't seem to be helping um and he kind of was thinking maybe she's just getting old um but by now you think she would have had some sort of uh improvement um but she's she's not acting herself And so he, that's why he's here. He he needs to get money to find anyone that could possibly even look at her. So he he doesn't even know what's up yet. Okay. Uh, when we're walking to the herbalist, Eva's gonna look around and see if there's anything like outright where maybe someone would know. Like if there's any like people like I mean not well vets of that time I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um. To see if there's like any way that she can very like not so much secretly but kind of just casually like try to see what they would charge for for their services sure while lushu's doing his thing sure uh yeah but you can keep an eye out um you've hmm. I'm trying to think would there be like any sort of uh druidic kind of people or animal trainers i suppose you could try to keep and open for anyone that has a, you know, hunting dogs or anything like that too. So, yeah. Okay. Um. So you just you relay relay that information to him. Yeah. Uh, well. Um. She just says like I'll keep my eye out to see if there's anyone around who might be able to help. He goes, I'd be indebted to you. And he goes, and he goes back can, to... Overall, she can tell that, that he cares about the dog very much, and she mm -hmm. respects that on an immense level, so... I will say that, uh... I, you, you know, spending a little bit of time um, observing uh, Darlin, that uh, a dog of this type live in 20 years is, uh, is a little odd. Mm. But uh, that's about it. She's a hunting dog. Obviously well taken care of, then, I mean, to live that long. But, uh, so where you guys go with that? You just continue walking down the, the merchant strip, looking for something to help Lushu? I guess so. Okay. Um, let's see. You guys keep walking down. Um, you're hearing, uh, various, uh, shouting and rumors about, um, the town itself, as well as how um, the the issue of the port is going to be handled. Um, uh, you you kind of hear uh, various mentions of a kappa. Um, you hear uh, kind of a, a it sounds like a proper name, uh, Mariosa. You also kind of hear. Um, some people saying that uh, people are being essentially not screwed over, but uh, being kind of held hostage in a way. Um, but uh, you, these are kind of just things that you're catching up just by walking down uh, the main area or the main street, I guess you would call it. That sounds about right. Um, as you guys are just kind of walking through the. You just hear uh, a bunch of things about the town. I'm um, sorry, Lushu catching you up. Uh, you guys are yep. walking through. Um, you're hearing um, various rumors. You've heard um, the term Kappa being thrown around. You've heard the term uh. <laughs> um, uh, proper name. I don't know when you came in exactly when I was talking, but the it's like a proper name, Mariosa, being thrown around. Um, you've heard of uh, also a name of Sister Ilya. Um, You've also heard some other various proper names, uh, like the uh, Property Reclamation Society. Um, but uh, there's there, there's a bunch of uh, chatter that's going around that's kind of uh, peaking, or, uh, or themes are kind of reoccurring as you're hearing. There's a lot of, uh, seems to be a lot of distaste and uh, anger going on um, because people can't, you know, leave. 
and uh, there's various rumors as to what's ca causing that. Um, but you guys managed to find uh, some various herbalists and stuff about, uh, and they offer various remedies to help with uh, sore muscles and some uh, various pain remedies, um, as well as um, some other, I guess, more exotic remedies, but you're not quite sure if, if they would be uh, trustworthy or not. So beyond that, um, how, how would you guys proceed? Um, hmm. <clears throat> hmm. Well, first, I'd probably, I'd probably show my injury and um, see if they have any knowledge on why it's taken so long to you know, begin healing. Uh, you show it to each of the, the merchants you come across? <clears throat> Oh, I thought you said we were at the thing. Oh, okay, no, no, no. I, I go try to find the um the herbalist. Well, there's a bunch. Um, uh, you, um, you've like found a bunch, and okay, I'm gonna ask um Amas um, Amacus, um who he reckons, or sorry, who they reckon the um the best person to go to would be. Do I <clears throat> know anyone on the street, or that would? help me understand which one I would suggest. Hmm. I will leave that up to you on how your character would play. Um, but essentially, uh, the more exotic stuff would be, um, I guess, more... Not more unnatural, but more um, interesting remedies and possibly... Uh, I won't say deadly, but harmful. Uh you know, they they become a little more eccentric, like uh, you know, oh, you just need some wolf spain, which obviously is poison, um, and and stuff like that. But then there's basic stuff. It's like oh, chamomile to, for you know to help you relax. Um, so there there's tears. But in terms of how you're you play your character, I'll let you choose which one that you think would or that you would recommend. <clears throat> Alan has to probably go with someone who he's either helped before or received help from. Okay. But being that him catching diseases is really rare. Um, let's say you, you will, you'll go up to a, an herbalist that has nothing that's too crazy in terms of um, also we should have some sounds here. Um, nothing in turn crazy in terms of like wild ingredients, um, but stuff that you know would at least alleviate some sort of pain, um, and probably do some sort of a, a muscle relaxant. There you go. Sounds. Um, her her name is uh, Exandria. So yeah, then I would take Lucio over to Sandria and be like, Hey, uh, I have this guy here, and he's got a wound, and I think it might be infected. Um, okay. <laughs> I think it might he's be infected. It's a gentle way to put it. <laughs> <laughs> she you, you, she, she hasn't even turned around yet, and you're all just... <laughs> Look it! I got a thing! <laughs> um, she kind of... She goes, Ah, oh, Maccus, how are you, dear? She she wipes her hands on a, a little, like, some cloth and towel. Um, she She's busy, like, twisting some herbs and uh, trying to dry some stuff and, you know, grinding them into powders and stuff. She comes over. Might I take a look? And before you even answer, she's already got, like, her... She's already peering down <laughs> into your wound there, and she kind of... She reels back and is like... Mm. No one else has uh, mentioned the smell yet. <laughs> well, you know me. You know where I live. You can't. True. But anyone else <laughs> hasn't mentioned the smell. Tell me you didn't uh, go swimming in the seawater. <laughs> Wait, did I did I attack the shark? Uh, you did didn't. I, did I jump? Did I, I didn't jump in the water, did I? You did when you uh, boarded the boat. Um. <clears throat> no. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, she's just gonna admit because at this point I think he's in that much pain 
um, that he just wants it taken care of. So he'll be completely truthful and say, I, I, I did. Hmm. Well, that would be where the smell comes from. And she, uh, she kind of starts looking through some of her bottles and she's, she tosses you one. It's like, rub this on it for the smell. Otherwise, it's going to get worse and people next to you are not going to be able to stand you. Okay, I, I, I thank her profusely. She says, uh, um, and that I'd one's start, on the house. I'll start rubbing it on my wound. Yeah, and she, you kind of you wince a little bit, but, uh, the... <laughs> it, Ooh, it smells lavender. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Um, <laughs> but then she's, as she's looking away, in terms of, uh, what, what sort of symptoms have you been experiencing? You wouldn't believe this, but he didn't want to help this poor dog who is injured I and on its last leg. I, I think that's a dogs. symptom. I think that's a symptom. I love no, that. he's just like that. <laughs> he's just like that? Eva coming in with a uh, throw under the bus. <laughs> Listen, I've watched this man steal. I've watched him do all these things. You know what? <laughs> If he had said no, she would have stood in the back of the room with her arms crossed, nodding solemnly. Just, as, he's as, lying. As, as, as you say about, I've seen this man steal, his other hand just comes back and puts it back into his pocket with that thing in it. Like, just fucking exposing me. Hands at your sides, where you're like a child. <laughs> she goes, uh... Hmm. That's, that's interesting. Uh, I, I would say uh, that possibly one of the gods is... Uh, Repairing you back for, for something, wouldn't you say? She kind of looks over at you and just stares directly into your eyes. <laughs> Perhaps Sister Ilya can assist with uh, your atonement. Uh, I'm going I'm to ask if she has anything for the pain for the time being um, when we go and see. S Sister Ilya, did you say? Uh, Sister Ilya, yeah, she she just kind of mentioned uh, the name. Um, okay, yeah. But in terms of uh, having a pain, she's like, well, not sure what that injury is, but I got some various things here for pain. Uh, try this. And she hands you uh, a rolled up uh, powder that's uh, wrapped in some tightly wrapped in some dried leaves. He's like, swallow this. Uh, ha have a, a pint of ale and uh, let me know how you feel in the morning. Oh, whoa, I... <laughs> let me know how you feel in the morning. There you go. I forgot to change the voice there. Yeah, and uh, I shall do... Just I'll, I'll keep hold of it for now until I can get my hands on the ale as well. Okay. And uh, I'll, 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 I'll appreciate it. I thank you. And she goes... Ah, ah, ah. That one's not free. One silver, please. I'll ask one silver. Okay, I'll, I'll hand over one silver. All right. And uh, so that was just one one of the pills. Um, but you know, the, she she has no idea what has caused the injury or anything. Uh, but you, you just said you were experiencing pain, and this one seems to be a, a general pain relief kind of thing. It, it's it's not overpowering it's not gonna knock you out or anything but it it's it's about a medium potency I mean, um, that depends so, on how much ale he drinks <laughs> yeah that, that's probably what's gonna help too <laughs> he's gonna sleep good tonight <laughs> okay and after i think it's probably best to go and see sister Ilya now then you're gonna go try to find sister sister Ilya. yes okay um I guess, well, you, you relay that to Amakus, right? Yes, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn around to both Amakus and Eva and ask them if they wouldn't mind accompanying me. So is it the, the temple? Mm-hmm. You said, yeah, accompanying me to the temple. And I'll um, be looking at Amakus when I say this because surely they would know the way <laughs> before we do not. Um, so I'm going to ask Amakus if he wouldn't mind taking us. Oh, no <clears throat> problem at all. The people that am I still really holding nice. his doll, by the way? I was gonna ask you that too. <laughs> yeah. Am I still am I still hugging his doll? Like, uh, I, that's you guys. Because I I, I want to be. 
I like I like that doll, dude. Well, yeah, as long I'm, as you're I'm still holding the doll. I'm still holding the doll. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, as long as Max is okay with that. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's uh, it's about three p.m. three or four p.m. Um, uh, Amacus or Amacus having been uh, a resident here uh, since you were born. Essentially, uh, you know that uh, Sister Ilya begins her day with a run, a run along the beach. Uh, she's very um, reliable in her her daily routine. Um, she, uh, you know, runs along the beach, letting her bare feet splash through the surf as it rolls in. Um, after that, she journeys uh, into Bastion Bay to give uh, blessings of her goddess to any travelers setting sail that day. Um, once she's done with that, uh, she returns to the temple and goes about her daily work and awaits any worshippers who may wish for her counsel. Um, so, about now, she is prob she could probably be found either um, talking to the sailors uh, that are trying to get out of Bas Bastion Bay, or she may be heading uh, back to uh, the temple. So okay, that one you're gonna have wise, to just take a guess. Is, is it probably wise to wait at the temple? Because either way, she'll either be there or be there soon. So that's up to you. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna ask uh, Amakus. Um, would Would you mind taking us to the temple? Surely we can wait to see if uh, she turns up. Yeah, we could do that. Did you guys hear about there was apparently like some shark attack last night or something? I'm gonna. Uh, Lucy's gonna kind of look over at Eva and give her the sort of. Do we tell him? The sort of eyes. Actually, that would have been uh the the shark attack would literally have been a couple hours ago. Oh. Or an hour maybe. Because, oh, it would have been yeah. Cause yeah. We just got back to shore. Yeah, shore, you just we? got back to shore. <clears throat> Well, same thing, just change the time that I there, Yeah, well, that well, kind of actually, figured. I Technically, Lushu can't lie about that because he told the, um, the herbalist that he did go in the water. So, there'd be, you know, <laughs> I'd go in the water if they didn't know about the shark. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to tell uh, Amakas that, yeah, um, the shark was a bit, of a, a bit of a problem, but we took care of it. Me and Eva. I'm gonna point over and is uh, demons not with us at the moment this year? Nope. Uh, demon no, or Lyra not. and uh, Corva are all doing their own thing right now, technically. Mm. I'm gonna explain. We there are others, but they're um, soul searching <laughs> at the moment. Well, we actually, you've never met them yet. Oh, I haven't. Uh huh. Have I not? Nope. No, you're right. We they, haven't. They came in on the boat. Well, two of them came in on the boat. You guys, that that's why th that's why this session is kind of works because they technically haven't even met you guys yet. So, mm. but you could mention that that your other companions are buried out front. Ah, uh, yes, we, we shall tell. Yeah, <laughs> I shall tell that. Yes, about how a few of our a few few of our fallen brethren have uh, have been buried just out front. But thankfully, me and Eva here. Uh, still standing, and he looks down at his wound and says, "Barely." Wait, they're they're dead. Do people die around you? <laughs> no. Yes, yes, they, they 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 do tend to. I mean, usually it's of their own their own doing. Um, but you know, it's the way it is. I'm trying to avoid the sort of questioning too much. Well, that, that's that's kind of sad. I mean, I hope they weren't. Like, I, I don't want you to, uh... Did you say a prayer for them or anything? Or are you religious? I mean, we're going to a temple, so I hope 
maybe you might be of some sort of religious. Let me double check. I don't think he is. Bear with me, D&D Beyond, because for some reason my deity isn't on here. I mean, you can always just say you are or not, too. You know, this is your character. Dun, 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 and... No, he has no faith, so he tells him he's not religious in the slightest. Um, we'll, we'll fill you in, uh, Lee. Essentially, um, Macus was asking, uh, Lushu if he's religious at all, um, because he, he told him that, uh, a couple of your friends are buried out front of Vashon Bay, uh, due to an encounter that you guys had, and, uh, he asked if he's religious because they're going to an, obviously he's trying to go to a temple. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, Eva doesn't have a faith either. Oops. <laughs> you guys, you don't need one, obviously, but if you decide to have one, you can choose to, so. Your characters are living and breathing entities, you know, they, things can change, so. Um, but you guys making your way to that temple? Yeah? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um... So the, the temple is actually a uh, temple in quotes. Um, it is more of a cave uh, of in a, in a bunch of rocks on the shoreline. Um, you guys kind of go come up to it. Um, it looks, uh, it's quite tidy. It's, you know, it's, it's something to, or it's a spectacle, spectacle to behold considering it's, you know, uh, some rocks and stuff, but there is, uh, it doesn't seem that many, uh, not worshippers, but, uh, what is it? What? So you got like a head priest, right? Who are the, the underlings of a head priest? Like, not servants. Acolyte? Sure. Let's, let, that works. Um, it's, uh, it doesn't seem like there's, uh, more than one person here. It seems to probably just be uh the sis sister Elia that uh you know doesn't work here but uh practices here I guess that that's a good thing to say um and other other than that um you, so you come up to um it's the reason why it's kind of out in the you know shoreline as well is because pirates obviously and sailors aren't traditionally the most devout of people um but they do um, give worship to Umberly because she is the goddess of the sea. Um, so the the temple is situated in an airy cave near the beach. Uh, the stone floor has been uh, crafted to kind of be tiered. Um, so, so it allows the ocean to gently flow into the lower tier while still keeping the upper tier cool and dry. Um, there's a simple circular stone windows, um, which are actually more more holes than anything <laughs> uh, that have been carved into the cave wall and that allows the cool sea breeze to blow in um, numerous seagulls and other um, sea animals of, of the wing I guess you could say um, have made nests here and um, worshippers have been known to leave their clothes uh, stained by the birds own offerings <laughs> uh, t around the, the temple um, but as you approach, um, there's a, a single little candle kind of lit, uh, near to, near an effigy of the goddess herself. Um, but there's no sign of Sister Ilya yet. Um, you could probably deduce, uh, Amacus, that, uh, she's probably out, uh, near the docks and stuff, uh, giving her blessings to the sailors and stuff that are there. She should probably be back, uh, here any minute. I will reiterate that information and ask them what brings them to the city. What are you guys doing? Mm. <clears throat> uh, it's Raska we're trying to get back to, right? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. <clears throat> Um, well, me and my friend here, along with our deceased companions, were hoping to get back to the town of Raska. Um, have you heard of it? Mm, probably not. I haven't really left the city. Okay, so, well, that's, that's our destination. I'm trying to get you, back to Raska. Sorry, you said you and your companions, that include the dead ones, are you going to dig them up and then... <laughs> So that wasn't the plan, but we we do have uh, one of our companion's diaries with us, so she is with us, in a way. Actually, yep. that's a point. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna show um, Amicus the diary. Um, and you also have her ring, read it. <clears throat> and I have her ring. Yes. Um, I'm going to show him the diary, so he can kind of get a, a basic gist of what we've been up to. Kind of like, read the last few pages, sort of thing. Um, and then you'll understand. So yeah, I'll hand it over in two hands. Okay, um, this is up to you. How much do you choose to read? If you choose to read it at all. You know when you're like, you get a pamphlet, and you're like, oh yeah, this is interesting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's that's what I'm doing. Oh, so you're just kind of flipping through it, acting like interested, but you're not at all. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Um, Lu uh, Lucio, go ahead and. Uh, how much do you care that he actually reads it? Um, not very much. It's just because you know, asking questions about the party and how they mm. died, and so that. I thought it might just be good to give the information of what we've been up to, sort of leading up to where we are now. Um, because we, we told him about the boat, we told him about this. Um, obviously, the last thing that Echo had written into the diary was just before that, so sort of a, a catch up sort of thing. So, not a lot, but um, you know, he wouldn't be offended if he didn't read it. Um, but he may be a little bit offended if he kind of just like chucked it away, like it'd be kind of disrespectful right. to our party members' memory, sort of thing. That's what I'd say. He doesn't have to read it, but as long as he treats it with respect, is what I'd say. Okay. <clears throat> Thanks, Eves. Um, so you kind of, you notice that he kind of flips through it, um, doesn't really pay attention to it, but it doesn't bother you. Um, I guess, um, Amakis, you, you notice that you'd probably realize that he's like, I don't, I don't care if you read it or not. It was more of a, if you want that all this information, it's available to you kind of thing. Um, but he, he's not bothered either way. <clears throat> um, yeah, uh, no, a Amicus is definitely respectful. Like, he understands, like, this is someone who passes journal and whatnot. And he, he will finish pretend reading and then hand it back. And be like, oh, okay. I, it's like, I've never heard of that destination that you were trying to go to. But it sounds like you guys got an adventure up ahead. I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask Amakus if uh, does he know anyone? Oh, sorry. I'm gonna say do it in character. Um, do you know anyone who may have information uh, on how to get there? Maybe a bit faster. Maybe I don't know. Like maybe an adventurer, a hunter, someone who goes far distances, has maybe mapped out. Um, a part of the world that we could go and talk to. Would I, would a mask just know anything about that? A map of the world? No, I just think because um, he's lived in that area the entire time, he might know someone who has been out on long adventures, like gone out for months at end and come oh. back and has brought like, you know, hand drawn pictures of what he's found and kind of plotted it down onto a map. Anything like that, you know, over time, society does that, don't they? They branch out, draw a bit of something, come back, and over like a few years, it's all kind of mapped out. I'm wondering if there's anyone who would have information on. Like you know, the location of Raska or anywhere who could, who could point us in the right direction of someone to go and talk to about that sort of stuff. Um, he he would know that um, this the various sailors and stuff they obviously go out on um, and to ship their wares or cargo that they're holding to various parts, uh, various other ports. So you know, the the town itself has some very, I won't say adventurous 
uh, folk, but they have people that uh, do actually leave the area to cross seas and stuff. So um, you, the odds of finding anyone that could possibly know about Raska or something nearby, because at least you do know that one of the ships goes to a port somewhere that actually can get you back to Raska. So you would just have to find someone that would know that travels uh, south in terms okay. of docking and stuff. Okay, so the best, the best place to go for that would be back at the port, right? Once we're done with the temple. Yeah, probably just uh, asking around uh, anyone that heads south. Um, okay. With the ships. Um, how long have we been waiting at the temple now, sorry? I was just going to say, um, as you guys were discussing, you've probably been here, you know, 15 minutes or so, but uh, you notice a, uh, a fit-looking uh, middle-aged woman with auburn hair uh, that falls just past her shoulders um, is walking up uh, to the temple, and uh, she says, <laughs> no, no problem, Josh, uh, walks up, is walking up, and uh, she says, oh, uh, wor worship here, here so early. I'm sorry. I got held up at the docks. How may I help you? Um, Lucio's gonna say, um, I've, uh, sustained a bit of an injury. I've, um, been to a few people, and they've told me to come and see you about it. And I'm gonna open up my hand to show the wound. Um, the, the herbalist has given me something for the smell. Um, I'm guessing the smell has kind of died down yeah. by now. Um, and she also gave me like the, the empty... I'll show the empty... Oh, I haven't taken it yet, actually. Mm -mm. Um, the little well up um, of powder. Um, so she's also given me this and advised that, you know, I take this, have some mead, ale, whatever, takes my fancy, and see how I feel. But they were talking about some sort of religious god aspect to this wound. Uh, it's been a week, and it still hasn't healed. Um, it, um, it was wasn't if you could help me. It wasn't necessarily oh, no, to the wound no, that she said. Uh, she she was more no, making no, a, a tongue in cheek about uh, how because Eva referenced you know you you steal and stuff, and uh, she kind of more tongue in cheek was saying, hey, may, maybe the the wound is more a psychological manifestation that, uh, t physically that you need to seek atonement for because. Uh, your wicked, evil ways. Yeah, no. Um, <laughs> at least he's chaotic neutral, isn't it? He just does what he wants for him. So, um, he, he will explain it, because that's, that's the way he right. perceived it. That's fine, he'll, that's fine. He'll explain that to um, Sister Ilya? Ilya. Ilya, that's yeah. not Sister Ilya, yeah. So he'll explain that to Sister Ilya. Okay. Um, she goes... Well, th this is generally a, a place of worship and to bestow blessings. Um, why don't you go ahead and uh, tell me how you received such a wound? And maybe we can uh, see if we can help. Well, I was... I was in a bit of a scuffle, as you could probably tell. Um, and I was gouged quite severely by a boar. And I, I've, I've fought boars, I've fought wolves, I've fought bears, and... I've got a few scars to prove it, but they seem to heal relatively faster compared to what this is. Uh, are you showing it to her? Yeah, I'm showing okay. it to her. Like, my hand sort of covering and opening it up. Okay. Um, as, as you're explaining this to her, um, you know, she's going about the temple and doing, I don't know, priestess things. Temple things, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, you know, carrying a... Man, I need to brush up on my freaking words because I can't with them. Uh, the little things that you carry with the, the herbs and stuff that make smoke around temples. Oh, the, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm talking about? Incense? Sure. Yeah. Incense, that's fine. Um, she, she's carrying that around the temple and, you know, like uh, tossing like blessings and little prayers and stuff uh, to the goddess as she's... She, she is paying attention, but, you know, she's doing her temple duties. Um... In reverence uh, to the goddess of uh, goddess Umberly, um, she's like, "Hmm, that is quite interesting." 
And then, uh, she goes, I might be able to uh, bestow a blessing upon thee, but in terms of uh, physical healing, that is not my, uh, my, my, where my expertise lie. I'm here with uh, the guiding of lost souls and uh, to keep those who cross the seas uh, safe and to protect them uh, from... How would you phrase this? Uh, protect them from uh, the, laugh, the wrath of Talos. Okay. Um, Lucy's going to ask, f in, in that case, if all she could do is a blessing. Um, Lucy's going to ask um, if he can get a blessing just to give him the strength to carry on until he finds someone who can help him physically with his injury. She, uh, she, she, she kind of swings the, the incense around and, uh, but of course, she turns around and she kind of brings it and she, uh, starts, uh, making like a figure eight pattern. And then as, as she comes around, uh, up to you, she starts like swinging it around you and she does some basic chanting, um, uh, in a language that, uh, let's see. Yeah. A language that you don't understand. Um, but. She just seems to be just chanting and uh, trying, and you you feel maybe uh, not necessarily reinvigorated, but uh, the words move you in a way mm. that you've never felt before. Um, go ahead and roll a charisma check. Okay. Okay. Um, as she is. Uh, as she's chanting and stuff, uh, all of a sudden you feel a, a sharp, like a, it feels like a, a large throb of pain, like, goes, you know, think anime is, you know, when the heart, like your heart's stopping, but that yep. completely directed into your wound. Uh, go ahead okay. and roll a constitution, check, uh, con constitution save. Okay. Ooh. Oh no! Um, so it's almost an eighteen. Yeah, that almost. And then it decided to not. Uh, you you fall to your knees in pain. And uh, she kind of steps back, and then uh, she kind of kneels, and she, you know, she takes her two fingers and kind of, uh, she kind of lifts up your chin. It's like, and she, she kind of looks deep into your eyes, gets really close to you, and she says, "Something afflicts you, my son." Uh, I'm gonna look up in pain, still kind of holding everything. Is it, what can you tell me of this? She stands up. And she says, "I believe this is uh, possibly beyond my skill to heal, but you need to keep your rage in check." I would. Maybe this is what brought you to the temple today. You need to do some soul searching and find what is near and dear to you and how you may be able to protect it, but also keep from your fury from taking over. You will okay. hurt. You may hurt more than just yourself. Okay, well, Lushu at that point, because um, I actually I need to go for a second because little man's playing up. But um, what I'm going to do is Lushu is going to where's my thingy? I have it here. Yeah. So Lushu is going to take the advice and um, he's just going to start going into his trance, um, like the elvish trance, mm -hmm. and try and focus and meditate and try and find those answers. Um, whilst Eva and Amicus do whatever they kind of want to do. If you give me five minutes, I'll be right back just for a little sure. bit. <laughs> so yeah, Lucy's going to go into trance mode and try and find himself. Sure. Um, I guess Eva and Amakis, how would, uh, or what, what were you doing in this situation? Amakis is just there for the ride. <laughs> is that Eva? Is yep. this normal? Uh, for him, maybe. <laughs> but do you join do him in this? Thing. That's true, because Eva uh, hasn't 
Obviously didn't know Lushu as long as the other party members, but you're still learning him, I guess. Right? As far as the trance thing, yeah, that's normal. Mm. Which we technically need him because he has some rolls to make for his, his trance, but that's fine. Um, let's see. So he, we'll say uh, he, he's able to sit there for a while. Trance can last a bit. Um, actually, you're a half-elf, uh, Eva, so you're, you're obviously very much aware of trance, but you don't you don't benefit of it, right? Um, so um, I guess he can be... Uh, we'll say he kind of tries to sit there for like 30 minutes. Um, is there anything you guys do? Eva doesn't know much about, like, faith stuff, but she's intrigued enough to just be watching and trying to figure out what's going on. Because from, from what little she knows of Lushu, he's not really one that would be doing the soul-searching, if you know what I mean. <laughs> he's kind of, you know, he's a rogue, he's set in his ways, even if those ways are problematic, but... I mean, it seems like he wants to fix whatever's going on with him, so she's intrigued enough to kind of be like, oh, you know, I want to see how this plays out. Um, okay. So, we'll say, uh, actually, before I say anything, uh, Macus, did, were you going to say anything? Uh, no. Okay. Um, I'm going to say, uh, Sister Ilya notices, uh, you know, she's a very she she is very dedicated to her craft, but she's also uh, very observant, uh, without um, getting distracted from what she's doing. Um, she notices Eva kind of just staring, kind of uh, in. A, what would you say? A little bit of awe, a little bit of confusion. Is that how you're kind of reacting? What she's doing? Yeah, like confusion, but intrigue. There you go, intrigue. That's a good one. Um, she kind of, and she kind of, she smiles a little bit. It's like. Can I do something for you, my my dear? Oh, I'm just... And she kind of, like, looks around at, like, some of the seagulls and shit that are probably just, like, flying around, and... It's just like, yeah, um... I mostly came here for him. A friend of his, then, are you? Uh, for, for a little while, I guess you could call us that. I haven't known him very long, but... He's the last one left, unfortunately, so... Last one left. That 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 actually kind of takes away from her a little bit of a duty. She seems to she she stops her chant uh, midway through one of the words before she speaks. Uh, when she hears that you, you have a, a loss, some of our friends recently on our last adventure had some incidents that may have resulted in well. And she kind of like doesn't want to say the word death, but it's it's kind of evident by the way like maybe her face falls a little bit. Mm -hmm. Says, mm. death uh, affects us all differently. It's like, I know this all too well myself. I am sorry for your loss. It's different in the forest when you come across you know an animal that's that's passed on and gone back into the way that, you know, life progresses, but when it's people you know, it hurts in a different way. I agree. Oh, uh, Lucio, now that you're back, um, or if you are, go ahead yes. and roll a, uh, constitution sh uh, save. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, constitution save. Okay. <laughs> Watch me die, dude. <laughs> oh, natural 20. Please Almost stop. a 2. Um, there you, go. you were able to actually uh, maintain your trance uh, without any issues. Um, we said that you were sitting for like 30 minutes, so we're okay. having a little time with uh, Ilya, talking with uh, Eva. Um, you can see there's a, a little bit of uh, pain and remembrance uh, in Ilya's eyes. 
Um, but she comes over and uh, places a, a hand on your shoulder, uh, Eva, and says, like, It'll pass. And then she goes around and continues her her uh, temple duties. And about this time, I could say, uh, Lucia, you you could you'd probably come out of trance. Um, it's probably the most uh, unobtrusive trance that you've experienced uh, since. Uh, you got that injury. Um, nothing, you know, amazing or something uh, pops out at you, but uh, it felt more restful as opposed to the other ones that felt aggravating or, um, you know, frustrating uh, yeah. dis or disturbing in any way. This one uh, was a little more restful. Uh, you're not quite sure if it's because of the setting you're in, because of the blessing you got, um, or what, um, but it's 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 a little bit of a sigh of relief uh, amongst the storm that you've been experiencing the past, you know, week. Um, okay. Gilly um, notices that you you come out of trance like, feel any better? He's gonna kind of stretch his back a bit. You hear a few pops, a few clicks. Uh, look up, smile on his face, and say, actually. I do. I feel extremely rested. She says, uh, and praise be to the goddess. She has, uh, may her uh, warm embrace uh, keep you in your uh, future adventures. And may, uh, may this experience uh, toward, uh, turn you toward the light. Use out of character. Use. I didn't want Lucio to be this kind of character. I wanted him to be full on thuggy, sort of stealing everything. But I think it'd be kind of cool at this point, like story wise as well. If after this experience, he's kind of opened up to the idea of it. Um, this is your character, man. However you take yeah, things after, is you. So after something like this, after something like this, I think he might be a bit overwhelmed by it. I think he, I tell you what, Lu Lushu's going to be interested in learning about it. He's gonna he's gonna ask Sister Ilya um, if she has any sort of scrolls, any sort of books, any any like, I don't know what you would kind of call them, but you know like holocrons in Star Wars that are just full of information, like <laughs> like Sith holocrons and stuff. Like if she has anything like a stone with, that's filled with, or like you know a bit of metal, any sort of item that has information um, about the goddess, which was the name of the goddess. Sorry, I'm gonna write my notes. Ilya. Or sorry, Umberly. Goddess Umberly. Goddess Umberly. She is a. And that's that's she... the Church of what? Sorry. Uh, the church. She's the. This is the Temple of Umberly. Oh, Temple of Umberly. Yep. Okay. And that's the goddess's name, as well. Umberly. Sister Ilya. Yep. Okay. Um, Umber. Uh, the goddess Umberly is actually a a goddess that is well known. It's you know not limited to this town or limited to this region. She is one of the god goddesses. Uh. Of the realms that people are are, are aware of, um, generally, uh, she is uh, heavily, obviously, uh, worshipped and revered by uh, sea seafaring folk because they they want her blessing for uh, safety uh, when crossing the seas. Um, but so you ask if she has any sort of pamphlets or anything, or any yeah. sort of material, um. Because Lucius never been religious, right. so the whole concept of religion is new to him, so he wouldn't be aware of any of it. So, she's the goddess of the sea. Um, okay, so, well, she won't, she doesn't have any tangible items um, pertaining to the goddess herself. Um, her, her, I guess she would say. Uh, she looks at you a bit con inquisitively, maybe a little bit confused, uh, more of like, w what do you mean, like, and she's like, uh, my, the goddess is, uh, the goddess of the sea, where waves crash and, um, everything is but a fleeting moment. Um, it is, it is not, 
a custom of uh, the followers of Umberly to keep uh, any lasting uh, material goods as uh, the sea takes all away. Um, but I can see that uh, you, you possibly have felt her presence. And uh, that, I suppose that is all one may need. Okay, um, out of character, because mm -hmm. I just thought of another cool idea, because you said goddess of the sea. Mm -hmm. uh, I just thought of a way maybe I could like evolve Lushu a little bit. Um, if he does follow like, the goddess of the sea or any sort of religion in the future, could I go on some sort of like training thing? So if it was like goddess of the sea, it'd help his like flow with his weapons. Like he'd be a lot more like, he'd be dancing with it kind of like the waves dance if he goes like a goddess of fire it'd be more rage based and strength sort of mm -hmm. stuff Is, could I do something like that? possibly in the future that's something we could probably okay. uh, dabble in okay okay just, just thought I'd throw it out there um, so I'm going to tell I'm going to tell sister uh, Ilya that I, I'm not too sure um, if I had felt her presence but something's definitely easing me Um, I just wish to learn more. Uh, blessed are we that have uh, experienced her uh, her peace, and I hope you continue to experience it as you continue your journeys. Want to stop by the gift shop before we leave? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to thank Sister Elia for her help. Um, and well, she's already told us that she doesn't really know of anyone who can help me physically. Right? Did she say that? Um, besides the, uh, the various herbalists and stuff that you've already seen? No. Mm, mm, okay. Um, and I think that hunter would have known something about it if any hunter would have done hmm. because obviously they hunt animals they know about animal injuries uh, I'm just trying to think who I could go to um, I, I could try maybe one of the other herbalists because um, Amakas only introduced me to uh, I can't remember the name um, oh Xandria that's the one uh, and you said there was a few there right yeah, there, there's various herbalists, you know, selling various okay. herbs and tonics and remedies or whatever. Okay. Um, in that case, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn to the party and say, guys, although this is although this has helped um, with with the pain and with you know with the the smell <laughs> and everything else, uh, I still feel like I, I could use some help, uh, Amacus. Would you would you mind uh, accompanying us back to the market, um, so we can maybe talk to a few more herbalists? I mean, I guess well, that's no problem with me. It's like I have a life awesome. for anything else to do. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I was asking. I was just like, this guy's just joined us. And I'm yeah, like, he's you a... don't mind. You can, you can come if you want. But you don't he's your tour you, guide. You know? <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> um, but, um, yeah. So you're starting to head back to town again? Yes. Okay. Um, as yeah, you're walking... Like else, like... <laughs> yeah. As you're walking <laughs> through uh, the town, you... you uh, the town is... Um, it's getting... It's later in the evening. <laughs> uh, maybe 5... Or not later. I guess it's like 5 p.m. Something like that. Um, the, the town is um, no longer, you know, in the chaotic state from the the attack and stuff, but it uh, is now uh, becoming a little bit of a buzz, and you guys are able to catch some uh, some buzz about uh, Kappa Mario Mariosa has called for a palaver at sunset uh, in the Red Square. Um, so um, that seems to have a bunch of people excited. Um, some people are uh, disgruntled. Um, some people are looking for some sort of change. Some people are looking for some sort of answer. But um, it seems to be the important thing that people are looking forward to uh, to happen tonight. Okay. Um, would Amacus Amac Amac would have knowledge of this thing going on, like whether it was a regular thing and stuff like that, right? A palaver? 
yeah. Um, yeah like, this whole like this whole party thing that's going on in the town. Yeah. So, um, from what or you guys, like a palaver is it's a. It, this is like an impromptu gathering of you know. Not necessarily hype officials, but uh, some hype officials to address like the city kind of thing about some issues that may be here or people can uh, air their grievances kind of thing. It's kind of like a just a, a, t a talk or not a talk, but a, a yeah, somewhere that people can just go to talk about uh, their disagreements or anything like that. Actually, Maccus would know that uh Originally, the palavers were um, used in a different way. Um, they were originally used... Um, hmm, I'm trying to see how much we would know. Um, originally, uh, palavers were used for um, other like captains and pirates and, and smugglers uh, were used to tr essentially put on trial any crewmen of accused of mutineering, theft, you know, undue murder, whatever you would consider that in terms of pirates. Um, and essentially, I'm just kind of relaying this, and Amacus could be telling you this kind of thing. Uh, the accused would be hurled, uh, like, bodily down a hill, um, usually by their... Uh, drunken former crewmates uh the captain where the captain would be waiting for him um they're bloodied and bruised they would have a the, the thing they call the palaver and that's where they would plead their case with the ring of rowdy and drunken sailors and pirates and everyone around um and anyone else that wanted to kind of like observe the show um it usually involved desperate begging groveling lying until the captain got bored um and decided the punishment of the accused um, nowadays, um, it's a little bit less gruesome, um, and become, it has become the central marketplace of the town, um, and this is where people go to discuss issues that involve the town, that, that's the way to say it, that everyone can have, like, their, their say in the matter. And then Amakis will tack on, so, like, if you ever, like stole a boat or anything that might be a problem but these guys wouldn't do that <laughs> never us no <laughs> it's okay I found religion now <laughs> <laughs> I'm forgiven you're, yeah you're forgiven <laughs> I'm forgiven dude I don't think that's how that works <laughs> shut up <laughs> shut up bro shut up that's how it works <laughs> okay, um Okay. Okay, so are we are we are we shut up. Are we um are we at the um the, the market area now? Yeah. Yeah, awesome. Um so what I'm gonna do at this point, because you know, it's getting it's getting a bit uh bit problematic, um Lucio's just gonna lift up his shirt right up the side. <laughs> um, I'm gonna with his hand and just scream as loud as he can to all of the like the herbalists in the area in the center all of them does anyone know what this is does anyone have anything that could possibly help me Apart from i'm you, gonna, I'm gonna make a silent <laughs> image of lushu but like am amplify like how big he is and make like copy the wound but as a silent image so more people will look onto it oh huge okay um Okay, I said it was like 5 or 6 p.m. Um, people are talking about this plaver that's coming in. Now all of a sudden this man is streaming in the marketplace. And then a, f yep. a spirit image shows up near him to amplify it. Um, surely though, hang on, surely though, because Amakas has been there the entire time, like he grew up there, they would have seen his abilities before. So there might be some sort of trust that I'm... Um, fishing right now <laughs> there might be a bit of trust there for it because they can like, okay amicus is helping this man project himself i just don't want to be like attacked by an angry mob of town i, do like <laughs> I will say that um okay this is a town though and also a, 
a strange man is screaming in their center about this with his one. lifting his shirt up. <laughs> um, okay. I need a. <laughs> and then uh, this other thing comes in and shouting. Um, I mean, most of the people are probably uh, going to be confused. Uh, startled, uh, some possibly annoyed, and some will uh, just not care, and I suppose the other ones would be intrigued about what the fuck is happening. Um, so you're gonna get, the people that are of the last sort, are you're gonna get a bunch of people coming up um, trying to, to sell you, essentially, snake oil, um, telling you that you're cursed, telling you that um, you know, that you should be thrown out of the city because you're uh, gonna bring the plague up uh, to everyone else in the area. Um, so you you just attracted a bunch a, a crowd essentially around you that is chanting all these different things at you, and you are uh, probably not in the big, uh, best per, uh, situation right now. You, you got about fifty people over. surrounding you, screaming at you like pitchforks and. I'm going to turn over to Amicus and just say with a little bit of attitude. You had to turn me into a giant spirit. This way they know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want everyone to know, just the people that could help me. They kind of brush out towards the herbalists. <laughs> I'll end the silent image. <laughs> kind of fades in the breeze. <laughs> Um, you, but you still have this crowd around you. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's uh, screaming. Uh, also, well, just various things. Lucio's gonna um, once again gonna shout as he can to try and get over what they're shouting. Um, he's, he's gonna apologize um, for what just happened. Gonna point over at Amicus to say, if you guys have a problem with what just happened, please talk to him about it. <laughs> Don't ask for this. Okay, all I want is someone who can help me. Does anyone know what kind of wound this is? I've been to the temple, I've been to a herbalist before, and all they've done is give me this powder. This powder? Um, well, uh, what you can discern over the, you know, 50 voices speaking to you, you know, you hear that, um, some people, obviously, the annoyed ones, like, well, take your fucking medicine and go have a pint. And you hear other people saying that you need to leave town now. Um, you're a danger to everyone. Um, you also hear that, uh... What else would you hear? <laughs> that, uh... That you're selfish, thinking that you're more important than, uh, what is happening with the town. Um, and some people are thinking, like... That's going to make a sick scar. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so no one here is going to help me then. Great. <laughs> well, yeah, okay, not with the, well, not with that commotion that just happened. You might have to wait for it to die down a little bit. Or uh, make your way away okay. from it. <clears throat> All right, yeah. Um, Lushu is just going to... Um... Uh, see, I haven't got that good of persuasion. Um, Lushu is, um, see, oh, I kind of want to start running away by like, going over the buildings and stuff, but I'll just think that's even more weird. <laughs> <laughs> like, and probably with disadvantage as well, because obviously the injury. Um, yeah, it's weird being a normal person, isn't it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't like it. Um... Okay, uh, so Lushu is gonna um, just just hold his hand up and say, "Fine, someone point me to the nearest inn. I'm gonna take this medicine." Um, yeah, they they kind of point down to uh, the the inn that you guys stayed at before. It's you know not too far away, eighty feet, yeah. kind of thing. Uh, the cast makes tavern. Okay, I'm gonna start. Uh... Like waddling my way there in pain. Okay. Um. As you guys are 
make your way into the tavern. Um, you get you, various eyes because, you know, you, you had a crowd of a bunch of people following you for a bit, or screaming, not following you, they were just kind of screaming at you. So they're like, okay, well, whatever. But, you know, they're pirates, they don't give a shit. They're used to this. But they're just, as long as they're not, not going to cause trouble, whatever. Uh, but you get, are in the tavern. Um, there's a, a, a wizened old dwarf. Uh, Hull is there, and he's cleaning his glasses like, Hey, welcome back. Another another at night, are you? I'm going to say yes, but first, I'm going to need the biggest ale you have, and also the biggest plate of meat and potatoes. Okay. Now he kind of says, Oh, you here for the challenge then, eh? He, he kind of... Turn- elf ears are going to prick up. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, challenge, you say? Yeah, he turns around and kind of squats down and... Boom! Pulls a... <laughs> like, a barrel. You know, of a... Say a, less. Like, a big old <laughs> barrel. This, this is a... Uh, this is for one of those... Uh, they're generally for, like, the, the people that have, you know, walked away with a good haul or something like that. And so, when he he obviously took it literally that the biggest pint you look or drink you're looking for, he big ass barrel. That'll do, dwarf. That'll do. Um, I'm not carrying you back to your room when this is over. <laughs> um, he uh, he's like, are you and your friends then? Yes, I'm going to point over to both Amakas and Ava and ask if they wish to eat and join me for the meal. Amicus is like eyes, they're like golden, but now they're like super golden because a fresh meal? Yes, please. Okay. Um, That's why I'm putting the doll down. Oh, so uh, I am. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna give the doll back to Amicus at this point. I can, I can <laughs> yeah, you just holding it this whole time. <laughs> I just imagine. I can imagine it now. Yeah, that big, that big, like silent <laughs> image was of Lushu screaming, holding, holding the doll, and holding that <laughs> fucking gigantic <laughs> now doll. Yeah, I, I can now see why they were freaked out. Yeah, it makes more sense. <laughs> um, okay, so um, the 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 giant cask of you know liquor is only thirty silver. Which is sounds a little bit odd, um, being so cheap for such a quantity, um, and uh, a, a meal for each of you is silver or pop. Okay then. Um, so yeah, I shall pay for that. Or wait, wait, wait. So that would be... Silver is a is a dollar, so it'd be ten silver a pop. Okay, so that means maybe sixty. Oh, sixty-three there, and two one eight. Oh, there. Okay, perfect. Yep, all paid for. Um, before I start taking the med- I'm going to take the medicine and have a drink first, but before I do that, um, can I do a investigation check on the like the barrel of alcohol to see Absolutely. Like, if I can tell why it is cheap? Absolutely. Um, for that much. Um, okay, investigation. Eh. Um, so, you, uh, you, you pop the, what is it? I'm going to call it a cork uh, in the side of the barrel. Yeah. <laughs> and you immediately know why it's so cheap. Uh, you, you, the smell assaults your sinuses. Um, as you have your uh, your your pint mug there. My... <laughs> that sucks, Josh. Um, the, uh, instead of just flowing out like a l- normal liquid of water, it flows, up, flows out more like mud. And kind of oh, plop, 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 plop. And uh, it doesn't smell very good. Um, the reason why it's obviously so cheap is because it's horrible. This is mostly something to just party and you get drunk. And you don't care what you're drinking. This is most, like, you're already drunk, so you'll just keep drinking whatever. This is the after beer. You're drinking it first. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna plug it up. <laughs> Let me plug it up. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna lift it off of the bar. Okay. And put it down. Um, next to me, and just kind of use it as a seat for the night. Okay. Um, and ask the the bartender. Um, can I just get three large 
tankards of ale. I, I, I can't stomach that quite yet. <laughs> I shall save it. I shall save it and he'll slap the barrel until later. <laughs> three ales coming up! And he fills them up and it's, you know, three silver a pop. And uh, so these ones. Three silver, right? Yeah, three silver a pop. And these ones feel, are obviously a little more uh, palatable. And uh, <laughs> they smell like normal wheat beer. Amazing. Nice so, froth yeah, gonna, at the top. I'm going to take the powder and drink the beer or the ale, whatever. Okay. Um, do you guys go find a, a seat away from the bar or do you sit at the bar? Uh, have we got our food yet? Um, I mean, they, he would, they would serve it to you if you went and sat somewhere, but okay. not yet. Um, I, I, up to you guys. Where do you want to sit? I'm just happy that I'm getting a fresh meal. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll go find a table then. Okay. Um, you guys go, go find a little table. Uh, you roll your barrel over. Yep. Uh, <laughs> at, uh, use it as your seat. Sludging as it goes. You, you pop that pill back and uh, throw some ale down. No. Wipe your mouth and uh, kind of start to take in uh, the day. Um, getting a little bit sore um, from everything that's happened the last few days. Um, and you start to overhear uh, various r rumors and uh, discussions about what people think the, the palaver is going to be about. Uh, you kind of hear that uh, there's an old sunken wreck uh, somewhere out in the shipyard that contains a mysterious black box. Um, it's said to hold untold riches. Uh, no one ha has gone looking for it, ever, has ever returned. Um, kind of begs the question uh, of exactly how many how people know about the box. Um, there's also uh, some people think that the recent spate of shipwrecks and deaths have been planned by Kappa Mariosa herself uh, as a warning uh, to some of the other captains. Uh, or perhaps the maybe it's uh, the would-be Merchants Guild. Uh, others think it's uh, the spirits of previous uh, Kappas of Bastion Bay that have cursed the town uh, for abandoning uh, their pirate roots. Um, some other ones have believed uh, some crazed witch or wizards uh, have resurrected uh, the uh, the enormous shark to hunt down the people of the town for some unknown slight. Um, there's some people think uh, in town think that Sister Ilya is uh, the true goddess Umberly uh, walking upon the earth and they claim that uh, to have seen her late at night take the form of a dolphin and uh, return to sea. Um, there, there's some whispers going around that the town has uh, claimed that members of the Unloved Property Re Reclamation Society never truly gave up their lives of piracy and the, the salvage that they sell is uh, ill-gotten booty from raids of merchant ships uh, farther north along the coast. Uh, there's a, a rumor that red curtains covering the booths in the Last Call Tavern are uh, so that the other patrons couldn't see the blood spray from the slit throat. Uh, dozens of sailors claim to have seen an ancient ship with tattered sails, crewed by the dead, sailing north to north to south along the coast on the night of the Blood Moon. Um, the ship uh, they call the Titan. Um, uh, I would say, yeah, that sounds like a, a good spread <laughs> of rumors. Um, but yeah, that's, that's kind of what you're hearing. You guys sit there and drink your ale, uh, eating your meal. Uh, what, what did uh, Eva and uh, Amacus get? For a meal, because I guess uh, Lushu paid for it, yeah? Yeah, I'm paying for it. What yeah. a good man. A gentleman, <sighs> if you will. <laughs> um, probably just the same, something that, like, off. fills and is nutritious and can, like, last a while. Well, like, yeah, give someone energy for a while, I guess. Higher in carbs? Yeah, pretty much. That's why I got meat and taters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Amicus needs something really filling and, like, really fatty. Um, let's see. Uh, how about... Easy. Yeah, just... Yeah, so you would not want carbs. You want lots of protein then, yeah? Yeah. Okay, just load them up with he, he's protein. A thin boy. Yep, just all the protein. It just wheels out a cow. <laughs> there is so no is sense of grace or manners as Amicus eats. Just doesn't know what the silverware just... Oh yeah. All right. 
I'm let, I'm letting you guys play all that out. <laughs> there is literally like just meat falling from his mouth, and just you see like grease across his face and everything. Like you don't know if it's from him not showering or if it's from the food. Little column A, little column B. Yeah. It's um, a flavor saver. Yeah. Well, 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 whilst Lucius Munchie is going to look up towards Emma and say, Hungry, huh? Well, the last thing I ate was a pretty questionable piece of bread that pretty sure I could have used to build a house. Ooh, Lucius is going to shrug his shoulders and just say, Well,. Enjoy, my friend. Thank you for your help today. I appreciate it. It's no problem, and, and if you ever need it, I can always make more big images of you. And then I'm gonna cast Silent Image, but of my doll, but as like full size humanoid sitting beside Lushu. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Eva slinks away. Lucy's gonna, gonna just take a little slide closer. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is the, obviously the awesome, the first person to finish his meal uh, long before you guys are even halfway before yours and licking the plate clean. <laughs> uh, yeah, you guys. Uh, as you guys are finishing your dinner, uh, and, uh, I, I guess, so you finished your first tankard of ale, uh, what are you doing with the, your barrel? Are you drinking from that, too? I, I don't think I'm that drunk yet. <laughs> um, so, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call over to the bartender, because I'm guessing he's gonna come over to pick up our plates and whatnot. I'm gonna ask him, then, if, um, he could just keep the, uh, keep the ale on cycle, for us for the evening and uh, I will settle up what I owe uh, in the morning when I wake up. Sure. Because I've already got that big barrel. I'm only going to need about three or four more of those things. You just needed to numb your, your taste so, buds, right? Yeah, I just need enough to numb the taste buds like, and then i got trusty barrel here. <laughs> trusty barrel. Alright. Um, <laughs> you know, you, you sit there and enjoying your meal and your drinks. Uh, the twilight sky swims in reds and purples as the sun sets over Bastion Bay. Uh, the red square is filled with uh, people tonight, uh, pressed shoulder to shoulder and jostling for a good view uh, as the palaver is starting to uh, g start to go underway. Uh, Lamp posts, balconies, and even some roofs are lined with people awaiting uh, Captain Mariosa's announcement. Um, and uh, you, your tavern is uh, you're about up against the window. Uh, looking out to the red square uh, so you can see that the, the people are starting to gather uh, for this thing that's about to happen. Uh, do you want to go be a part of that, or what do you guys want to do? I'll leave that up to the party. Eva's curious, It'll yeah. Die. She'd probably go. Amicus lives here, so he would definitely just go. Yeah, you're you're a okay. citizen here, so it's it's important to you, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, Lushu's probably gonna go also, but he's gonna roll the barrel with him. Okay. And I think <laughs> what, I, what, what I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna offer it to the town um, as my way of an apology, <laughs> um, so they can just they can drink that and get drunk. Okay. Um, as you you know you're you're pushing your barrel across and. Um, a lot of people know what that barrel is, um, and only the people the, the people that are taking you up on your offer are the ones that are already severely drunk. Uh, yeah, that's fine. All the all the common folk, and it's too early for that. But uh, <laughs> uh, your your barrel gets about drink. You you probably have a third of it left uh, before people uh, or the the palaver starts. Uh, but you guys you, you you find a position with the within the crowd and uh, begin to wait. Uh, as the last sliver of sun dips behind... Oh, we need a different sound. Holy shit, we're still in the caves. We're still in the caves! That's not That's not what we want. Uh, we need a town or something. This might work. 
I don't know. I don't think I have uh, any good good sounds here. Hold on. This works. You know. Um, so you guys are there. And... F <coughs> Sorry. Um, you're kind of hanging out here. Um, as the last sliver of sun drips, uh, dips behind the roof of all of a tall sandstone uh, building, you hear the sound of booted feet on wood and a hush falls over the crowd. Uh, a statuesque elven woman clad in a long sleeveless coat, uh, colorful scarves and knee-high leather boots, climbs the steps up to the gallows come in hanging uh, garden. The the hulking figure of a man follows after her, wearing crossed sashes of bright yellow and blue. Uh, his near seven feet tall stature and thick jaw make you think that uh, there may be orc blood uh, in his past. Uh, oh, we need a thing. Hold on. Hold on. No. Nah. Uh, the elven woman speaks up. Good evening! The uh, elven woman says, her voice carrying a easily across the square. And she says, For those of you who do not know me, I am Cap Kappa Mariosa, and I run our beautiful Bastion Bay. I've called this palaver, palaver as it seems we have a shark problem. And, uh, the, the, the crowd kind of erupts in, a uh, incoherent, um, ramblings about, uh, accusing Kappa Mariosa of holding the, the town hostage, of stealing uh, the people's money by keeping them um, from leaving port, um, ridiculing her for uh, essentially not doing anything sooner about the uh, the attacks on the ships. Um, obviously, other wild accusations because there's many members of the crowd that are drunk. Um, but that is essentially what stands here. Um, she uh, essentially says, um, oh, wait, I didn't mean to push that there. Um, essentially, she is here to address any concerns that the crowd may have. Um, if you guys have any questions, obviously, you could speak up. Um, but uh, actually, I'll let you guys go that and then I can just fill in the crowd if you have anything to say. I think it's best for Lucio to stay quiet at this point. He's already drawn enough attention to himself. <laughs> Way too much attention to himself for his liking. Um, hey, so you went from kinda, the weird he, guy to the guy who just, brought beer. Listen. Yeah, I'm. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna chill on my barrel. <laughs> chill on my barrel. Do I still have like the full size like doll with me as well? Uh, how long does that last? No, uh, it lasts a minute. Oh yeah, it's well, gone. I, uh, if you wanted it, I could do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all good. <laughs> so, uh, do you guys have anything to say uh, in the palaver? No. Um, Amicus, though, is now curious about wanting to help out and kill sharks. Okay. Um... We'll say, uh, uh, Kappa Mariosa goes into, uh, after the, the crowd dies down to a level that she can speak once again, says, says, I, Captain Jason, and she kind of opens her hand over and, uh, gestures to the, the tall man that came on stage with her, has agreed to try to hunt down the old man, but is in need of more hands aboard his ship, the Sea Snake. I offer first class passage upon my own private ship, the Clover, to any destination as a reward for those who volunteer. Should there be no volunteers, I offer up 250 gold pieces or pieces per person. Is there any amongst amongst you scallywags willing to uh, meet this threat? Eva quietly kind of like nudges Lushu in the office, like, you know what, free passage. This is just gonna... You raise your hand? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna nudge a Maccus. I'm gonna silent image arrows over us. So it points down. Okay. Um, 
numerous hands uh, go up. Um, a lot of shouting and stuff begins to happen. And is like, uh, what guarantee do we have that, uh, you know, these, these people aren't just uh, going off to their deaths at the hands of her and her, uh, her guard? Um, because it seems a little suspicious. Other people are volunteering because, heck yeah, 250 gold. That's amazing. Um, and uh, she kind of just shirks off those people that aren't obviously particip or giving anything to this uh, discussion here. Um, and she sees um, Lushu and Eva, obviously, hands up. Um and a couple of other people that you happen to catch glimpses of during the shark attack in other various boats and stuff also put up their hands and stuff. Um, and, uh, uh, she kind of looks around and begins to nod and, uh, says, very well. And, uh, she, what should we do? Um, I invite anyone who wishes to volunteer for the hunt to join me in the Last Call Tavern to discuss specifics. With that, everyone, good night. And essentially, uh, she, there, there's some booing and there's some cheering and other people are just like, cool, it's drinking time. And uh, people all split off to go to the various uh, drinking spots in tavern or in town, whatever they need to do. And uh, uh, Kappa Mariosa heads to the tavern that you guys just Exited, actually. She's looking for uh, those heroes to, I guess, uh, I, I wouldn't, I won't call them heroes. The, the people that are willing to undertake this uh, task, I guess. You guys want to go punch them sharks? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> Oh, no. I definitely wish to. I want to punch a shot. Yeah. Let's Amicus go. is so giddy because this is a lot of money that he could potentially get. That, that's true. How much was it? Two hundred and fifty per person. Yep. Yeah, I've I've, I've, I've still got two hundred and eighteen. <laughs> I'm gonna be balling. Let's go. Can you imagine being twice as rich. <laughs> right. Um. So you are you guys uh. Headed headed to the tavern as well, then yeah. Yeah, might as well. Yes. Okay. Um. The 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 townsfolk part ways, obviously, to let you know the leader of the town easily walk there. You guys kind of have to push your way through the crowd to get back uh, to the tavern. But uh, as as you walk back into the tavern, you notice that uh, Kappa Mariosa and Captain uh, Jason uh, are are sitting in one of the private booths in the tavern. Um. The, the the wooden bench, uh, their wooden benches are piled high with cushions that encircle a smooth round table. Uh, there's two low burning oil lanterns hanging from the wall uh, that provo provide light, and there's a small cabinet uh, stocked with drinks and glasses. Uh, this is obviously uh, very. Th this is meant for them um, and anyone that uh, Mariosa invites to the table. Um, you guys walk in, and. Uh, the, the invitation was open to anyone that wants to be a part of this to come and discuss details. So the table is open. Uh, you guys notice that, or you guys notice that the glasses they're engraved with uh, small magical runes um, that uh, seem to keep the drinks cool, uh, which is kind of a little bit of a, a, a spice uh, to uh, being one of the higher ups in the town. Um. But yeah, so you guys uh, approach the uh, Jason and uh, Mariosa here. Um, there's a few other members uh, besides um, some of the people that you've seen. Uh, they're there as well. Um, there's a bunch of people here waiting, waiting here to speak their piece. Um, but you guys are probably one of the the, the last to walk in uh, before. The talking starts. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to remember what you guys would have noticed from the ship itself. Um, you notice a, uh, a heavily armor-clad uh, human 
uh, next to a smaller uh, elf man there. Um, and uh, some various... Uh, I don't want to go into depth descriptions like I did last time, but um, pretty much many of the members from the Tia's Run are there. Uh, Sister Elia is there as well. Um, various merchants and uh, other seamen are there. Don't take that out of contents. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I knew that was coming, Josh. Um, oh, god damn it. Um, anyway, so you guys walk in. Um, Lord Hastworth, uh, the little short elf that is was being defended by uh, the human in the armor, uh, he, he speaks up um, and says that uh, the, the presence of a shark, that simply won't do. Any, any volunteers uh, can use my boat and... Uh, uh, or use his, um, can use my, uh, I said boat, uh, use my summer home that obviously he doesn't have yet, uh, as a, an, an added reward for dealing with the shark. But, but you only can use it during the winter months. Um, <laughs> and, uh, uh, Rook, the, uh, guy that was, uh, the lookout, he has run, um, will, uh, he he volunteers to join the expedition, um, He's not much of a fighter, but he can offer his eagle eyes, so he says. Because um, uh, he, he's seen the shark before. Um, if you guys want to speak up at any time, go for it. I'm just more thinking of what people are saying. There's other people in, like, who are also trying to get in, right? Mm hmm I'm going to lean over to one of them and whisper in their ear. I heard this isn't the real tryouts, the harder people are going towards the docks. The harder people... <laughs> okay. Um, uh, you, you managed to convince some of the the, the more drunker uh, crewmen uh, to head over there. Or to, to leave. So uh, the, the, the crowd has somewhat lessened. There's a, there seems to be a couple angry uh, merchants here. Um, they are... They begin to call out and complain that their goods are sitting and rot rotting in their ship in the bay. They want to know if Kappa Mariasa knows or knew of the shark. Why didn't she handle it sooner? Um, with these kind of accusations or whatever, Kappa, she just ignores them. She's like, these guys aren't providing anything to uh, the discussion or what's at hand here. She wanted to call the people here that are ready to, you know, go tackle this problem. Um, the, uh, Sister Ilya actually begins to speak up and, uh, a hush falls over the people in the, the tavern that are, that are present. Uh, she carries, uh, so obviously carries some significant weight when she speaks and is, uh, revered uh, among the town. Um, so all are silent as she speaks. Uh, she been, begins telling that the uh, the assemblage that her goddess has warned of something unnatural, and uh, evil is haunting the waters near Bastion Bay. Uh, but she doesn't not she doesn't think it's uh, the the shark that their people have refer are you guys have come to learn that referred to as the old man. She doesn't believe that is the the main source of evil that is causing it. She fears that it's something worse, uh, but she does not know what. I mean, I'm still down. You hear? <laughs> oh, my friends were lost in that attack. And I want to go with them. I am mean, He's a shark. Passes out. <laughs> Drunk man. <laughs> you, you hear a a, a, a... a little... Elder, uh, not elderly, but older woman, uh, begin to speak up among the crowd. She, she's very angry and upset, uh, and, uh, she says, Balter, my husband, hasn't returned home, and I demand to know what Marios is gonna do about it. Who that? <laughs> <laughs> Balter, the, the, her husband? Do, do you, oh, okay. 
Is that what uh, you ask her, or are you saying that to yourself? I was just, uh, to myself. Okay. Yeah, to myself. Who that? Um, Amakis, you would know. You would know. Um, uh, Balter is uh, the lighthouse keeper. I will share that information. Uh, an older, uh, obviously grizzled and uh, seasoned uh, sailor uh, among these waters. Uh, with, uh, squint through squinting and, uh, eyes says, uh, uh, the old man has been in these waters for years. Never had a problem with the beast. But, uh, the shark has, must be caught. And we, so we can cure whatever ails it. Maybe that is what, uh, will cause, uh, the peace to re-enter the shores once again. Maybe it has an infection on its side, too. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> it should try praying. <laughs> I'm going to look up towards Blue Shoe. So, um, as, as this is kind of happening and you hear this, um, people are coming up. They're, like, signing papers um, and stuff. And Mario says, like, um, she, she's sitting next to Jason, uh, who's to her right. And uh, th they're the... The two people that essentially the volunteers speak to, and then there's a, a script. Scriptist? A scribe? A scribe. There's the word. Is a, you know, he he has papers that are essentially, they look like contracts, and uh, people sign them, and uh, a stamp of a pro or, uh, from Bastion Bay uh, gets stamped, and in case of successful completion of the mission, they are guaranteed uh, the, the sum that was agreed upon, or the rewards that were agreed upon, uh, for completing the mission. You guys, next up in line, um, you get flagged down. Uh, Mary's. Next, please. She, uh, she looks you up and down. You guys obviously are not dressed, uh, well, aside from, uh, uh Amakis. Um, although, Amakis, aren't you, like, in robes? N no, it's mostly, like, just tethered. Her, like, it would be normal tunic and pants at the time, but like, you know, it's a size, maybe two sizes too small for me now. Okay. Um, but she notices Lushu and Eva, at the very least, are not um, dressed as a normal seafaring folk would be, so uh, she recognizes that you are not from around here. And uh, she kind of looks at you um, curiously, uh, says... What business would, uh, folk like you have with, uh, intervening in, uh, the, the shark affair? Besides the money, of course. Uh, money. <laughs> money. <laughs> Lucia, yeah, of course I, 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 like, uh, Lucia doesn't want to give too much away. I doesn't want to explain that, you know, his friends died in that sort of, not before that. Was it, it wasn't, it was before that, wasn't it, they died? Oh, uh, yeah, they died before. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, I mean, no one really knows that we were out there already, right? So I'd, I'd much rather kind of keep it that way for the time being. For, you know, because they already don't like me, and I don't want them thinking, oh, you could have stopped it. Why didn't you stop <laughs> it when you had the chance? Like, no, 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 no. So, money. <laughs> it's in Lucius' head, revenge. <laughs> I want that shark. You want that shark. Okay. Mm. Um, so, I guess, do you have any uh, questions or looking for information that she could provide? What time do we sail? What time do we sail? Um, yes. As soon as we have uh, all readied hands, uh, we can sail uh, in a morning or two. She kind of looks at you weirdly. Are you aware of the dangers that are uh, present in this mission? Um, you, are you aware of the history that is uh, coming with th this call? Uh, I'm just going to say he's not aware, no. She uh, kind of leans back and... Or uh, Jason kind of leans back, throws his head back and takes a big, deep breath. And, 
Because obviously they, they're a little bit frustrated because they don't want to, uh, they don't want people going into this that, uh, don't know what they're getting themselves into that could possibly be link, weak links in the chain. Hmm. Eva kind of like puffs her chest out for a second and just goes, I think what he means to say is we've seen danger and the passage being provided as a reward is something that we would be keen on and we think we can help. Thank you. <laughs> uh, she kind of you know, one time. She kind of not the eloquent one. She kind of squints at you. Uh, to Because she's suspicious. She believes you to a point, but she's suspicious that uh, you won't crack under pressure because uh, obviously she doesn't know you. Um, and she trusts the people that are in her town um, because she's seen them uh, get pulled through thick and thin, but she has no idea who you guys are. And she thinks that you could just be here looking for some quick money, but also uh, many people's lives are at risk. So if you are one of those types that would just crack and fall, uh, everyone could be in danger and Cracking. potentially die. Kraken, yes. Are you aware that within uh, there have been numerous attacks uh, the past few weeks? Are you aware that ships uh, have no. disappeared with all of their cargo and sometimes bodies wash up on nearby beaches? Are you aware that reports of the old man has been seemingly killed at least twice, yet still returns? Sounds like they didn't do a very thorough job then. Mm. And you are... Am I, and I, and you expect to tell me that you could do better? I've seen some of the finest men and women go out there, proclaim to have slain this beast, only to have it return days later. And now, the lighthouse keeper, Baltar, I am now under, uh, good authority, that has gone missing. I believe someone else is behind the attacks, and, and I believe, I have had reports, heard reports of strange creatures lurking in the underwater caves, uh, scattered across the islands of the coast. Eva's not going to make the same mistake again like she did in the town by turning into a bear. So she just kind of <laughs> looks like in the general direction of the group sitting behind the table and just says, I think we have some unique talents that might be appreciated on, on this mission. I just don't wish to scare your townsfolk by making a, an example. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. She looks at Lushu and kind of goes like, hey, back me up here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, For once, she's please correct. back me she up. Correct. She is correct. We have seen David before, yes. Mm. Go ahead and roll an insight check. Insight. I am. Actually, it's a wisdom, so I'm Oh, he's Amber. He's Amber. Is there a cat? Oh, it was almost a four. Oh, I wasn't on mute. My bad. You're fine. It's okay. You're fine. I love cats in this house. It's fine. Um, okay. Oh, I, I should roll stuff like that uh, behind the scenes. I forget. Um, after uh, a little bit of a pause between uh, you, your group, and her, she says, so do, so do you want the reward or not? We do. <laughs> All right, as, as you agree, she kind of uh, waves down the next person in line and waves her hand over to for you to go talk to Jason and uh, the scribe. Um, and this is where uh, Jason, or the cap Captain Jason, would start. He's going to begin telling you guys about uh, what it's going to take. What time is it? 4.30? What it's going to take uh, to hunt uh, this beast. Um, here we could end it, or we can go for 30 more minutes. How are you feeling, Lushu? Serial. I'd rather get going. Because yeah, I was going to say, you look knackered. Yep. Yeah, it's half 11. I've got to be able to take little one to school tomorrow. Oh, that's right. Know. You're not. Uh, yep. Uh, yes. Yes. Time zones. Uh, I, got, I got little man here. Need to get him all put down properly. Right. So, yeah, probably best to call it for me, my dudes. Okay. Um... Yeah, we can call it here. Uh, the rest of the party, if uh, if when they join next week, um, they could obviously be involved with the signing of this stuff. Um, sorry, Josh, you didn't get to 
use any of your combat stuff or something if you wanted, but I do like that you got to use your uh, cantrips and stuff. I'm, it was so good to have you uh, part of the team again. Hopefully, uh, Technically, that's not a cantrip. It's a first level spell. Oh, yeah, you used all your spell slots. No. You have six spell slots, right? It's my invocation. I can just use it at will. Oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm, I'm glad you were able to play again, my dude. Hopefully, uh... Your schedule changes, and we can have you back. And at this point, you have two characters. You can choose which one you want to you know, pursue with. We can just figure out what to go from there. But, um, yeah, at, at this point, I guess we can sign off. That was uh, just a lot of heavy uh, speaking role playing. I guess, laying the ground fr framework. No combat for once in a few sessions. So I don't know how you guys feel about that. But thank you guys for playing. It was fun. Yeah, thanks for having me. Of course, man. It was good. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, wrap it up here. Um, say good night to chat, and then uh, I can say good night as well. Good night, my dudes. Good night. Um, nice to see people. Yes, sleep well, my friends. All right, my other beautiful friends over on the Twitch Twitcher sphere. Uh, thank Yuri, I do see your your thing. Say thank you so much for the treat. Yeah, I just want to put this cookie here. Get it, man. This the whole downstairs is wrecked right now because from the Lego building stuff is half over there, and Jada's bed is all the way over there, and the camera is right there for D and D. Oh man, it's a mess down here. But um, I'm excited. We uh, we I'm glad we didn't get too far into the story because then it would have been just difficult to catch everyone else up. So at this point, we can have everyone still be a part of uh, the discussion and the adventure coming up, which is great. Um, but I hope... Oh, I don't need sound effects anymore. I hope uh, anyone that was here and lurking or whatever, I appreciate you. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I'm excited to see what's uh, coming up. Um, Josh, again, thank you so much for playing. It was very good to see you. Um, I hope to have you as a more... Consistent thing as uh, your schedule changes, you know, you're more than welcome to join in. Uh, we would be happy to have you. Just I know that your schedule is janky and wonky, so it's all good. You did live a PM for after stream. Okay, I will check that out. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Do we want to go? Let me see. Can, should we go for a raid? What time is it? I think Jem just started playing Valorant. But yeah, thanks guys so much for playing. I hope you guys had fun. I actually really liked tonight's session, even though... Um, I'm more of a, I like combat and stuff. I really liked the interactions and stuff that uh, came with building around the town. There was a lot of stuff that I was not expecting to happen that did, which was actually kind of cool. Um, glad it kind of, it felt like it went smoother than uh, normally. <laughs> oh, it, the guy that usually covers a day off quit. Ah! Oh, you worked all of Easter. That's why you got, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I see, I see, I see. Um... Do you guys want to go raid Jem, the Chaos Goblin? We raided we raided them the other day, but you know what? I fucking love Jem. They're hilarious. They're, I think, a fantastic content creator. And uh, I think if uh, they keep it up, they'll go far. And you know what? They make me laugh. And uh, th seriously, some of, the, some of the best clips I've ever gotten on Twitch uh, come from her channel. Uh, so definitely uh, stick around for the raid. At least, you know, come say hi. You guys know... Uh, should be very much aware of them. Uh, Jim is a part of the channel and uh, is branching into her own, which is great. Uh, but thanks for hanging out with us. Invalid news name. I spelled her name wrong. I, I, I wrote Gaminot somehow. Uh, but thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Hope you guys had fun. If you guys did, uh, remember to not like, I, I get rid of that. Remember to spay new to your pets, adopt, don't shop, donate to a rescue if you can afford it, or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering. That is a very rewarding experience and helps those animals and rescues out that are very much in need. Anyways, I'm Vasif. Thank you guys so much for letting me be your streamer tonight. And uh, thank you for tuning in with Quarantine. We appreciate all your faces, and we'll catch you guys next time. See ya. Oh, buttons. Buttons, there it is. Goodbye.